He loves to wear black. Wait, who? I met a black man. Okay. What up, big kids? Here's my big review of the movie Men in Black 3. Now, of course, this is the third installment of the Men in Black trilogy. 10 years after the last film and 15 years since the first. But if you love the first two Men in Black movies, this could probably be the best one out of the three. if At least as good as the original. Now, of course, Will Smith returns as Agent J. And uh, Tommy Lee Jones returns as Agent K. But here's a twist. This has time travel. Well, with all the... Neuralizers and aliens and everything that's going on. Did you expect anything worse? Um, but I have to say I actually really like what they did here with the plot. Um, Men in Black 3 um, has, it, it takes place of course 10 years later since the last one so it's in the same year and it, uh, J and K are still working together and you know saving the world from alien disasters and what happens is that an old um, agent, oh, oh, spoiler alert by the way, um, and, um, Agent K's uh, old, um, when, one of the people he put away and shot his arm off, uh, played by uh, Jermaine Clement who's from Flight of the Concords, he plays Boris the Animal and I could not tell it was him at first, he looks totally different under all the makeup. By the way, the girl from the Pussycat Dolls, Nicole Schenzinger, she's in there, but she's only in there for a bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, she helps get him out of prison in the beginning of the film and by the way I have to say the 3D is really good in this film there's some parts I, I think they uh, planned in mind the film in 3D because there's definitely some popping out parts at you and it actually works really cool I actually like that uh, Men in Black does make sense in 3D and um, anyway so he goes back in time and kills Agent K so now it's a par the timeline's been changed uh, K never uh, helped uh, never stopped him and then there's an alien invasion because he wasn't there to stop it before so Jay has to go back in time and save him which here's the cool part because Tommy Lee Jones is in, is only in the beginning and the end of the film uh, Josh Brolin plays the uncanny a, uh, Tommy Lee Jones uh, a younger version of uh, Tommy Lee Jones as Agent K holy crap Josh Brolin is so underrated. He is always, every time I see him in a movie, he's always so good, whether it's George W. Bush or whatever. He is just, wow. He is so good at playing, like, Southern, um, like, characters, I guess. Because, man, he was just uncanny. I mean, it's, you almost forget that it's not Tommy Lee Jones because that's how good Josh Brolin is. Will Smith, of course, just as charming, just as entertaining and funny. And now, hell no, I'm gonna, I will uh, wipe the shiznan out of, you know, any world. Anyway, it's some cool things with the past, seeing, you know, Men in Black, how they deal with things in the past. Uh, seeing how the technology was, seeing things, you know, with Andy Warhol and, you know, aliens. By the way, I love the little nod of Lady Gaga being an alien, just like how Michael Jackson and and Oprah and other people were uh, aliens before. Um, I I do, one thing that was cool about this film I didn't expect, um, whereas the two films did have some uh, touching moments, the first two, you know, from here and there with love interests or, or whatever, this one uh, it's, uh, it explores the Agent K and J relationship and shows why Agent K is the way he is and why why he recruited Agent J. And that scene where we find out Agent J's father and, and the son at the end, oh my god, that was so touching. And uh, I did not expect that at all. And um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely some uh, great. And uh, with the, you know, what's cool about this film, you know, just like the Men in Black films, Rick Baker's aliens look great. You know, just like the Star Wars Cantina scene, all the mixture of aliens are always good to watch. Um, the action is great. There's some really cool action. The CGI has definitely gotten better over the last 10-15 years since the first Men in Black. Um, but yeah, especially I just love that they always use practical makeup effects for most of the aliens and not just CGI unless they have to. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, there, there's some really great moments. The movie is uh, thoroughly entertaining. Like I said, Men in Black is a series that you mostly are watching for Will Smith and Tom Lee Jones relationship or um, chemistry but since Tom Lee Jones is only in the beginning and end of the film seeing uh, Will Smith and Josh Brolin work off each other was just as great and it makes sense because I guess Tom Lee Jones is old is older and he can do most of the film so just to have him at least still in the film but have Josh Brolin uh, as a younger film I, I think it worked out great um, 
was this a sequel that we really needed? Not really, but Men in Black is definitely a series just like with the cartoon. You can put, have so many adventures and keep it going. You know, they can make Men in Black 4 or 5. And as long as you know, Will Smith is charming and, and um, uh, Tommy Lee Jones or, or Younger K or whoever is playing K is just the, the stick by the rules, you know, slick, you know. Um, I also enjoy it, and like I said, uh, the characters are great with the um, you know Tom Lee Jones, Josh Brolin, um, Will Smith, of course, and you know the villains and the, even the supporting characters. So Alice Eve playing uh, a younger um, O, and um, also Emma Thompson playing the older O. Emma, by the way, uh, the only thing that uh, for characters and people that. If you've been watching the other two, Frank the dog is in there, which I, I miss Frank the dog. I don't wonder why he was in there. He is makes a little cameo in Jay's bedroom in a giant picture, and and then there's uh, um, Zed isn't in there. He actually in the beginning of the film they're they're talking as eulogy for his funeral. So that's sad that Zed died. Anyway, my final verdict for Men in Black Three, I gave it a four out of five. Definitely a rock on for me. Um, Definitely, if you're a fan of the first two Man in Black films, you'll definitely love this one, especially with the touching parts, um, realizing the backstory for Agent J and K. Um, Josh Brolin definitely still the show as a younger K, and Will Smith just as charming. Definitely funny moments, action, action moments, like definitely overall uh, great summer blockbuster film, and good to have Will Smith back. And if you didn't like the, this review and feel like you wasted your time, just look at this little picture here, but don't forget to go to bkbn.net. Oh, also check out Ripped Apparel for the uh, you get awesome T-shirts like this Star Wars Hunger Games T-shirt. Uh, may the Force ever so be in your favor. And if, like I said, if you don't like you know my reviews, just look into here to make you forget about this. And but check out bkbn.net for more geek news reviews and more. I'm Sean Long. Well, you won't remember. <laughs>